Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, we are completing our third cube for our Four Seasons folding cube. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to tell you the support colors I used for the last square. For the seed beads, I used the 131F. And for the faceted beads, I used the 06 crystal. Now here we have the seed bead already completed, so we are going to um, check the cube. So if you need to check yours, you can do it at the beginning of the video easily. This is 1, 3, then we go to T3, back to 1, 3, then we check B3, back to 1, 3, then we have 2, 3, 3, 3, and 1. 4, 3, and then we are back to 1, 3. Now we're going to connect 3, 3 to our facet bead cube and close it up. So we need the string coming out of T3, and we're going to add one bead to it. Then you want 3-3 three, three laid this way, and we're going to go through the corner bead here. And we take both of our strings, and we cross a bead. Now I'm going to turn my piece so it's easier for me. Now we'll go through the second and third bead on each square. We take both of our strings. First, let's get this. Oh no. I think I got a bit, I did get a bit twisted up. All right, we're gonna have to figure out what in the world I did. I find the faceted beads are a little harder to do because they are so large. The seed beads are a little bit easier to work with. Okay, we've untangled it. Now we will go through two and three again. Take both strings and cross a bead. All right. Hopefully, this time will go a little easier. So, we want the fourth and fifth bead on each square. a bit smoother. Now we'll take both strings and cross a bead. I thought one of my strings was a little short. Then we'll 
will go to the sixth and seventh bead on each. Then we'll cross a bead. Then we'll go to the corner bead on each of the two squares we were just sewing together. Now both of our sting strings are still relatively the same length, so we're going to take the one on the same side as this quick close up we need to do, and we will add one string to it, I mean one bead to the string, and then on the opposite square, where our string, opposite of where our string is coming out, we're going to go through the second and third bead. Then we'll add a bead, then again we're going to go to the opposite square and we're going to go to the fourth and fifth bead. Then we will add a bead. And then on the opposite, we will go to the 6th and 7th bead. Then we will go through this connection bead here at the end. And we'll turn and we will head back. So we'll go through the beads the side our string is coming out of, we'll go through the second and third bead. Then we'll cross over to the other side. Then we'll go to the fourth and fifth bead on the side that our string is coming out. Then we'll cross over to the other side. And we'll go to the sixth and seventh bead. cross over and go to the corner bead. And now both our strings are together again and we will cross a bead. One will be slightly longer than the other now. Then we'll go through the second and third bead on each side. And 
cross bead. We want the fourth and fifth bead on each side. Cross a bead. We want the sixth and seventh beads. Cross bead. Now the corners. Now we have this quick zip up, but this time our long string is on the opposite side of it. So what we're going to do is add a bead to the short string, go through this corner, then we'll add a bead to both strings, The short one, we'll go ahead and go through the second and third in the opposite direction where we'll be going in a few minutes. And the longer string, we will head back, we'll go through the corner bead. Then we'll go through this connection bead and we will go through the second and third bead on the first side of this little close up area. There we go. Now we will add a bead and we'll go to the opposite side and we'll go through the fourth and fifth bead. Then we'll add a bead. Go to the opposite side and go through the sixth and seventh. And then we'll go through the connection bead here at the end and we'll turn and head back. Now we want the second and third going back.
get through them. Now we'll cross over. And go to the fourth and fifth bead. over and go to the sixth and seventh and cross over and now we need to go all the way around so that we're back over on this side so we'll go to the corner bead connection bead, the next corner bead, connection bead, and now we're where we want to bead, so we'll go to the second and third on this side. And take both of our strings. and cross bead. Now we'll go through the fourth and fifth on each side. speed now we'll go through the sixth and seventh speed and we'll go to the corners and each string will take a side so we'll first add a bead to this one and then we'll go to the second and third Add a bead and cross over and go to the fourth and fifth. And add a bead and cross over. Go to the sixth and seventh. Then we go through the end connection bead and turn and head back, second and third on this side. Cross over. Go 
fourth and fifth on this side. And cross over. And sixth and seventh. And we cross over. And we go into the corner bead. Then we take our other string and we add a bead. We do the second and third on the opposite side. Then we add a bead. Go to the fourth and fifth on the opposite side. Then we add a bead. Go to the sixth and seventh on the opposite side. We go to the end bead and we head back. First, second, and third bead. Then we cross over. Fourth and fifth bead. Cross over. Sixth and seventh bead. cross over and here our two strings have come together Oops, so we caught it so we tie our knot and for the monofilament I do a single knot followed by a double overhand for the uh, microfilament I just do a double knot and then I slip it inside this corner bead pull tight then I thread away from it at least six beads before trimming it off and now we will check our work. Here is 1 3. We go up, there's T3, back to 1 3, down, there's B3, back to 1 3. Then we have 2 3, 3 3, and 4 3. And there are your two, or our two completed. We have the seed bead and the faceted bead cube. Three complete. In the next video, we will hinge them to um, our first two cubes. Hope to see you there.